Welcome everybody, Ed here. Yes, believe it or not, I'm back. And it hasn't been fantastic seeing all of these other people uh, in the 30 Day Challenge, X 30 Day Challenge as well. Still doing 30 Day Challenge, but working on all of these videos for you, which is just brilliant. But today I wanted to keep this one all to myself. Why? Because when we did this series last year, it absolutely created waves everywhere because I really showed you how to get an hour back a day minimum. And inside the challenge itself, we showed you how you could use this particular tool to completely know everything that's going on in your particular marketplace, which gives you a huge competitive advantage. So what is this magnificent thing we're talking about? Well, yes, as you can tell, it's another Google service and it's called Google Reader. So you get to Google Reader and uh, you notice I'm on the Australian site but uh, this works the same regardless of where you happen to be in the world. And you click on Reader. Now, remember that Google account we asked you to create? Well, now is the time to type in your email password and click Sign In. I'm just going to do that. And uh, when we cut back, you'll see I will be logged in. Okay, here we are. What is all of this, you say? All right, let's take a step back. We're at the home screen here of Google Reader. Now, I'm obviously, I live in Google Reader, so um, there's quite a lot of information. So let's step back for a second and check it all out. Now, the first thing we want to do, obviously, is have a look at our settings screen, as we always do. And these are settings for Google Readers. Um, you can choose language. Choose where you want your start page to be. And now, as a little bit of a uh, trick and tip, you will want to have a look at all items. And then in scroll tracking, in expand view, mark items as red when you scroll past them. Uh, that is a great idea. Now, be careful about that because I don't use the expanded view too much. Uh, but when you do, it means that you can go back, back through them. So I'll explain what that's all about. Uh, always start with the navigation pane visible. Yes, and confirm when marking all is red. You definitely want to do that. And show followed blogs from Blogger. That's neither here nor there. Up to you. We can also click on then subscriptions. And you can see all of the different subscriptions I have. And we'll talk about, we'll come back to these once I've shown you all of the uh, features of Google Reader. So we can look to do it just so you know where it is. So we'll click on back to Google Reader. And here we are at the home page. Now, let me show you from left to right what we're looking at. First of all, there is, and most importantly, the Add a Subscription button. So let's uh, first add a subscription so you can put something in to your Google Reader. So we click on Add a Subscription, and this is really, really powerful. Now, I'll put in uh, an obvious one here, and we click Add. And let's look at what happens. And here we are. It's gone out and found the 30-day challenge site. And you can see here are all the articles. And what you can do, and I'll show you this straight off the bat, is you want to have a look at feed settings. This is really important. Okay, you can see I have a bunch of different folders here depending on my different interests. Now, these feed things will become really obvious to you soon when I show you the amazing iPhone application for Google Reader. But for now, you need to have a look at these different things. So, And you can add them into more than one folder, I should say. So you can, uh, obviously, I'd add it to the 30-day challenge. Now, of course, if you want to create a new folder, you literally just click on New Folder and call it whatever you wish, and you will add the new folder. It's really important to get into folders really quickly. If you start with folders and you have everything sorted, it's going to make it so much more manageable. And you'll see why when I show you how you can use Google Reader when you're out and about. So for the moment, just pick a folder or create a new folder. Perhaps you might want to call it 30 Day Challenge and put it in there. I have a folder called Vital Reads. Now, these are the things that I want to read first thing in the morning or whenever I've got two minutes, I want to go to my vital reads. And these are the blogs that I consider absolutely vital to me. Now, yours will be different to mine, uh, but 
I would heartily recommend setting up at the very least a vital reads folder and a 30 day challenge folder makes a lot of sense as well. So let's keep having a look at what we can see. So we have an all items, which I'm going to come back to you in the next video and show you exactly what that's about. And also start items is a way to sort, which I'll, I'll show you. And you can see here my stuff, shared items, when I share an item, items where I've made notes and trends. You can also browse for different stuff as well. So if you wanted to click on browse for stuff, for example, you can have a look at different feeds that you could get. And they've suggested some different feeds like AFL. And actually, that's not a bad little bundle. I might subscribe to that. So we literally just click on subscribe. And that's that easy. So Google will suggest all sorts of stuff for you. Again, like we always, always um, uh, point out on the 30 day challenge, start with a little bit of stuff first. I don't want you to get overwhelmed. Having said that, if there's one place where you do want to go for your life and get lots and lots of feeds, as long as you do your folders and sorting, Google Reader is the place. And, and I'll show you why in the next video. But let's keep going and uh, show you the rest of the application. So on the as we keep going down, you can see where I'm scrolling here. These are all of my subscriptions. And unfortunately, when I imported a lot of these blogs in from my old blog, I haven't actually put them in folders, which is why you can see there are so many there. But that doesn't matter, actually, because there is a heap of things that we can do with this. So there's our subscriptions. Now, most people, when they go into Google Reader, sort of see this look and they go, well, what's the big deal? What's the big deal about Google Reader? And if you look at it from this page, it's nothing. It's only when you get into the all items view, which I'll click here and I'll click on all items that really shows you how powerful it is. this is. So I've got 205 news items. Can you imagine trying to go and find 205 news items? Can you possibly imagine that? How long that would take you? And people had their browsers set up so they would go to all these different pages. Well, all the feed information, all of the information from pretty much every blog has a feed. And I'm going to show you a couple of key places. And obviously in the 30 day challenge, we're going to show you a whole bunch more. But basically I can keep track of everything that's going on just purely by having a scroll through my all items list. Even when I've got a thousand items, which I can some mornings, it'll literally take me this long because you can see here. Oh, by the way, often, um, I have mine set here over here on the right hand side to list. A lot of people have their lists set to expanded, which actually shows you the entire article. I don't use it this way. Oh, yuck. Um, I don't use it this way mainly because, and it's very funny. Um, See how much longer it's taking me to do this? If I wasn't interested in uh, shoe money showing me all about the bacon explosion, uh, then, you know, I wouldn't... Um, oh, that is, that is just really ugly. Um, it takes a long time to scroll through that particularly one article. Whereas if I use the list view, check this out. I can literally scroll down here Keep looking through these headlines. See Linda Ribbett and Karen Kramer there. Um, read through and see any articles that uh, interest me. Obviously not uh, that one, but maybe this one will interest me. Look at this. Um, so there's a iPhone app for buying the latest fashions, and it's a New York Times article. But do you see, I've just scrolled through, what, 60, 70 items already? to before there's one there and then I can expand on it and decide, ah, oh, no, that's not really, really me. So if we have a look at, uh, keep scrolling down here, you can see that, oh, the lads from CPA Ninja um, have mentioned something about the 30 day challenge, which is nice because I track all of that. Anytime there's a mention, you know, if I want to see uh, Apollo 11, interesting stuff about Apollo 11, which is fascinating then I can have a look at that. And you'll notice, for example, if YouTubes are in the article, they play right there on the, um, in the browser.
Mr. Speaker, Mr. Vice President, my co-partners in government, gentlemen, ladies, the Constitution imposes upon me. There we are. You can have a look at all those, which is really amazing. When you think about it, you know, the amount of information that you can quickly get through is pretty extraordinary. So we can scroll down here, and I'm literally going through, seeing if there's anything. I can read pretty quickly, obviously, so you may <laughs> do it a bit faster or, or slower. And I can have a look and see if there is anything there that is of interest to me. Now, oftentimes, if I don't have much time, if, for example, I go over here and click on my photography folder, then look, it takes out all of the photography ones and just puts them here separately. And how much easier is that to have a look at that? And, you know, I can have a look here at this particular article. Ooh, that looks very interesting, actually. So if I want to remember that, I can just click Add a Star and I can remember that. So I have a look at that. And once I've had a look and seen everything that I need to see, I can click mark as red. And there I've got no more red photography items. Already, hopefully, you're already seeing just how much more quickly you can start to scroll things through things. And you can see how I've divided up stuff. So imagine when you do this for yourself. All right, let's come back to the next video and we're going to get even more Ninja with Google Reader.